Sura console. And it's going to launch the console for us and fire off Firefox to get us up in here. And we now that we're running our local instance here, 9695, I'm going to mention one other thing. There's also the server running at localhost 8080. And it looks the same. Now often, during the initial setup of all these things, there might be some confusion. You may bounce into this screen and you're at localhost 8080 slash console. And if you make changes here, they aren't going to become migrations. And then you will be angry at yourself. I don't have migrations. What, dad, burn it. I made the changes in localhost 8080 instead of the Hasura console launched instantiated console, right? Which is over at 9695. The easiest way to fix that, I'm going to show you right now, is go in here, go in your Docker Compose, find the environment variable, right? That says enable console and set this to false, okay? Now let's get over here and we're gonna kill this, control C and then control C again. It shuts down everything and then we are gonna docker compose up again. Now relaunch it with those new environment variable settings. And as soon as that looks like it's good and it looks like it, so we'll bounce over here. Now remember in Visual Studio Code, I'm still running that console that's pointed at localhost 8080, but is instantiated from the local executing terminal with the command Hasura console. So it's at localhost 9695. That's the locally instantiated one. I'm gonna refresh that. And see, we can still connect to it with our console, but it's not the one that the server itself is running. If we open up a new terminal and we type in localhost 8080, we get this, which is the better, more secure way if you're gonna deploy it to production or when you deploy it to production, I should say. And it also helps in local dev like this because then you don't have this thing floating around that you accidentally might log into and then all of a sudden make changes and then you're like, ah, I don't have the migration. So this is the easiest way to prevent yourself from doing that. Just go ahead and disable the console. You won't need that. And then bounce out and run the locally instantiated one via Hasura console.